But still, I had the urge for sex. And not only that, I wanted money. Hi there. You're going to listen to the story of Jennifer, a former prostitute. But before we do that, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Please like this video and leave a comment under and we'll be sure to reply you. Now, Jennifer went into the life of prostitution at a very young age. And when she decided she had had enough and she wanted to come out and be delivered, it was very difficult for her. Um, my name is Lenny Jennifer Jitiwa and I'm a Nubian by tribe. I was born in Bombo and uh, my life was in a mess before. I left home when I was about to finish my primary seven and I came to Kampala because of life that was had at home. So I got another friend that in took, told me that I want to stay with you, not knowing that she was a prostitute. And so she took me to her place I started keeping with her, staying with her, and I stay with, stayed with her for one year without her telling me anything. But as time went on, she told me that, Jennifer, I cannot keep on feeding you. You need also to learn how to do money. I said, in what way do you make money? She was like, I will teach you. So there's a way they dress up. So she started dressing me up put on short skirts, short dresses, so we'd go to nightclubs and would go to different pubs, different clubs, and whenever I would go there, most especially in Kabalagala, that's where we used to go. So when we reached there, we sat and they would get a bottle of drink. She introduced me to drinking alcohol. I started getting different types of drinks at my young age and without knowing it, I ended up sleeping around with men, like entertained me into prostitution because I knew that that's the one way I needed to get money. So I started sleeping out with men. To, they would pay me so that I can get something to sustain me. So I was in that life for years until there's a time I was stressed, I was devastated. I, inside of me, I had a lot of questions. I was asking myself, Really, is this really the life that I need to live? But again, and I was ask, again, I was telling myself that you need also to live. You can't live without money. You can't live without eating. You need to sustain yourself. So I started enjoying the life I was in. At a certain moment, I got people that would tell me to leave that place. But again, at, at that moment, I was like, where would I go if I don't do this? Then one day, one moment, I met. I was, I was, I met a man, and this man took me out. She bought me drinks, he bought me a lot of things. Then we negotiated and told me that we go. Then we went to a lodge, and I remember when we went to a lodge, uh, the man changed his life, ch changed his mind, and he locked the room and said that, you're going to do what I tell you. So I was like, we negotiated differently. We cannot just keep on like this. So he kept, he kept the care away from me. Then he said that you're going to do it, whether you like it or not. Then I was like, what am I going to do? Who will help me? Who will? Because I'm very far. No one at the session is very far. I cannot scream because the man has already locked the house, the room. So I had to obey what he wanted to do. So he said that, do what I tell you. So he told me that sleep. Then I slept. And I was in pain now, I was, I was in tears. But he said that you're going to do it by force. Then, as he laid me on the bed, he said that, he got, he told me that, do, like, turn. He wanted, like, sodomize me. I was like, I cannot do that. I'm not that type of person, I can't do that. Then he was like, you're going to do it. So the moment he wanted to force me, I don't know where the mind came from, I said, God help me. That's the word that came inside of me. And immediately, I don't know what happened. The man got a pillow and wanted to kill me using a pillow. Then I struggled for my life. Out of nowhere, within two seconds, it was like someone came and slapped this man. And he was like, what is on you? Then he got, he dressed up, he got his the keys, he opened and took off. Then I went out of the room, I, I told the guys that, did you see the guy that was here? And they were like, no, we have not seen the, anyone passing. I said that, but the guy I came in with, he was trying to kill me in the, in the room. 
no one was bothered at all. After all, you're a prostitute. So I had to move out of the room. I moved, I went. Then I reached somewhere, I sat, I was like, cool. where will I go? Because I've reached a point where my people are threatening to kill me. I'm tired of this. Even if I say that I'm tired of this, I didn't have any hope of where I'm going to go, where I'm going to start from. And I never had the mind of going back home because they knew very well that they never allowed us to leave home. However much life was hard, but they never wanted us to leave home. You would stay there, they would beat you, they would do everything they want, but they would not allow you to leave home. So I said that I cannot just leave home, let me just remain. So I ended up living on that, in that life with a lot of question, and I said sleeping on verandas. We got to Mr. Nassani with the guy that had introduced me to that job. Go to Mr. Nassani, I left, so I started sleeping in verandas. Sometimes I would sleep where I used to wash my clothes from in the adobe. So in the laundry, that's where I would sleep to sustain myself. I became sick. I had no one to help me to go to the hospital to treat myself and everything. So this one time, one day, as I was still on the door, be preparing to go and do my business, that is when someone came and evangelized and said that, come to church. So well, I was like, I'll come. So when, I, when they told me that they would come, I didn't have that mind that I'll go to church. But I gave it a thought. Then I was like, let me go. Let me try it. They gave me the direction. The following day, I went. And when I went, I reached there. Uh, they were like, I found a group of people. And when they called out people to give their lives to Christ, I was one of the people that got up. And the person that led me to Christ was one of the missionary team called Mercy. Uh, she laid hands on me. She made me confess Christ because I decided my heart was broken. I was tired of everything. And that's, from that time, that's my life, like my starting point. That's where I started from. I started seeing hope. But still, I went back. And because I didn't have where to stay, I went back. Then I'm born again, I've given my life to Christ. But still, I had the urge for sex and not only that I wanted money and what they gave me was not enough so I would skip sneak out of the house every much they were keeping us I would dry and I would go out of the house and I would meet someone I get money even if I'm not sleeping but I'll have a boyfriend out to give money and when they found out they saw that I would say that it's just a friend yet there was something behind it but the, um, the person that was in charge of it kept on saying that one day God will expose if you're doing something. But I denied it. I was like, no. Sometimes I would even move out and say that I'm going for prayers, yet I was going to the person's place. But until one day that I invited him to my place where I used to stay, and they found us there. And that's when he got to know that I was lying to him. Then I felt ashamed. I felt like God has exposed me. Then, out of nowhere, because of that shame I, I bought, I started cutting off. I, start, I, tried, I tried to lay up strategies. I said that this, I started deleting up numbers of the people that I used to communicate with. It was not easy, but I started deleting one by one. There are some others I met face to face. I told them that I'm no longer the person that you used to know. I want to live a normal life. I want to live a life that is pleasing. I want to be true to myself and to God. So I kept keeping myself in the house. And one thing that helped me most was to always go to a room and pray. I said, God, I cannot do this by myself, but I want you to make me forget anything sexual. I want to die in you. That's what I say. That's the prayer I made. I said, God, I want to die in me. Everything about me, make me forget that I may only think about you. And from that moment, my mind started thinking, stop thinking about men. I, without knowing it, I could not even think about sex. I could not think about money, but I would focus on God. But again, still, 
uh, the missionary group uh, Masi and Dion. They're the ones who introduced me into the Bible teaching, the discipleship. I attended the discipleship. They taught me how to live as a true child of God, how to live a true Christian life. And I did the session twice, the first session and the second session I did them. But I saw that I was transformed. I saw that the, thing, the questions I had, God had already answered them through Capro. And my fellowship with God became stronger and stronger and stronger. And those people, whenever they would meet me, they would like, they tried to test me. But I never gave ear because I reached a point that I was as if physically I was dead. And I never had anything to do with a man or with money. And whenever they would give me money, I would either buy something to eat in the house than go and buy things for myself. And since then, that's how I've been living my life. I've been focusing and um, devoting myself into the Word of God and fellowshipping into the Word of God. And I put it in my mind that Christ is the center of my life and is my everything. My life has changed financially. Um, God has provided for me a place to stay. Uh, God has provided me with school, I've finished school. I have a ministry, I'm serving God, and I'm so happy, I'm fully happy compared to how I used to be before. And all this happened is because I made that one decision of accepting Christ. Hi there, thanks for watching. What do you think about what you've just watched? I'd like to know. Please leave a comment below and I'll personally respond to you. What do you think about what you've just watched? And do subscribe to this channel. Click on the subscribe button and on the bell button so that you know whenever we come up with new videos, we're coming up with new ones every week, sometimes twice a week. And please share this channel with others. Let them come and be blessed and be edified and be equipped to be a light and a soul. Thank you.